I think that's the power of fantasy, especially when we're taught, like I know they mentioned the movie adaptation, and we're having this incredible resurgence of stories that are bringing to light things that have happened. For, you know, so whether it's like when they see us or they hate you give, um, and these are really powerful stories and they're really important and they're incredibly made. But some the things I'm noticing are that a lot of the times the people talking about them, the people in the movie theaters with me look like me. Right. So it's like we know what's going on. Yeah. Like right. we've we've yeah. are we've been knowing right. <laughs> like that this is a problem. Whereas sometimes I have I'll have a reader read my book and it'll be like a white reader and they'll be like, Oh my god, police brutality? Racism? And I'll be like, I'm not even gonna punish you for not knowing. Let's right. talk now right. that we're on the same page. Yeah. Um so I think we really we need these stories, but we especially need them in a fantasy setting to get people in, into these topics, but in ways where they're engaged, their offenses are down, and they're experiencing it just as a human being empathizing with another human being, as opposed to, well, this is me, and this is who I voted for, and this is what I believe, and you, you know, like there's right. all that. So fantasy sort of rips that away because we're, we all love these epic adventures. We've loved them forever. Mm -hmm.